guys, ngayon ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-add ng atin mga tax information sa ating Google AdSense. Pag tayo ay monetize, kailangan natin yan. So, mag-login lang tayo sa ating Google AdSense. Tapos, ito yung makikita nyo. Manage Tax Info, United States Tax Info. Makikita natin dito yung, to, uh, basahin natin to. To find the right tax form, please answer a few questions first. So, what type of account is Rachel Jamada? So, sa akin is individual. Click lang natin yan, individual, tapos mag-next lang tayo. After natin maano yung next, so mapupunta naman tayo dito sa another question. Are you a citizen or resident of the United States? Of course, no. So, click lang natin yung no at mag next lang tayo. So, ang sunod na uh, ano, makikita natin dito yung silik silik WA tax form type based on your previously selected answers. Uh, EW form is needed. So, ikiklik lang natin tong nauna. W8 bin. W8 bin. This is a form most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So, yan ang ikiklik natin. Tapos, click lang natin tong start. W8 bin form. Yan. Sorry guys, medyo may na yata yung ano, connection. So, tax identity, yung pangalan, buong pangalan ko, tapos, dito sa country, region of citizen, so, kung nasa Pilipinas ka, lagay lang natin yung Philippines, napin natin dito. Tapos, kailangan natin ilagay na ang atin foreign tin. Ilagay lang natin dito. Tapos, inix lang natin. So, nasa second step na tayo sa address. So, ilagay lang natin dito yung address natin sa kung ano ang address natin dito sa Pilipinas so yung town alang -alang. postcode province So ilalagay lang natin kung anong province tayo. So dito naman tayo sa postal address is same as permanent resident address. So kung pareho lang naman yung address niyo sa postal address, i-click niyo lang itong box. Pero kung hindi naman, wag niyo yang i-click at i-type niyo rin dito kung ano yung postal address niyo. So, sa akin, i-same address ko lang. So, i-click ko yung box. Tapos, i-next lang natin. So, ang sunod is ang tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? So, okay, click natin yung Yes. Click lang natin yung yes at i-check na lang din natin yung resident of country region claiming treaty with the US. Tapos ilagay natin dito yung ating country. So, pagay ko Philippines. Philippines. So, ang kasunod, special rates and conditions. 
You may exempt or have taxes withheld at a reduced rate on certain income types earned within the U.S. These reduced rates and exemptions vary among countries and, ex and specific income types. Select all that apply to you. You can claim any future in income type that you may plan to earn from Google products. So, ang ikiklik ko lang dito guys is itong services as, uh, such as AdSense kasi ito lang naman yung may income. Tapos, click lang natin itong box and i-click natin itong article 8 and paragraph 1. And i-click natin itong isa. So, ang i-click natin is yung 0% reduced treaty rate. Yan. And the so node is reason Rachel Jamada meets the term of the treaty article. So, iki click lang natin itong box. And in next lang natin. Next. So, ayan, nasa pang-apat na tayo, document preview. This is how your document will be generated based on the information that you've provided. If you selected multiple incomes, multiple income types, more than one form will be generated. Documents are generated in English to comply with the RIS, the U.S. Tax Authority. So, ito na yung kanina yung pinulapan. Tapos, click nyo lang to kung tama ba lahat yung nandyan na information. So, sa akin. Tapos, i-click natin itong I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documents to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true, correct, and complete. So, after natin yan, i-next lang natin uli. So, pag-i-click pag natin yung next, so, nasa number 5 na tayo, yung certification. So, dito, ilalagay na natin ang ating full legal name na gamit sa ating mga Google Ads. Tapos, basahin lang natin ito. Are you the person listed in the signature section? So, i-click lang natin yung yes. And, next yan. After nyan, next lang natin. So, nasa last na tayo. Nasa number 6 na tayo. Activities and services performed in U.S. and affidavit. So, basahin lang natin to. Activities and services performed in the U.S. So, has the individual or entity identified in the tax ID Identity section perform any activities and services for Google within the U.S. So, kiklik ng natin yung no. And, ikiklik ng natin itong box. I certify that the services provided to Google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the U.S. and that any labor or capital including facilities or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located outside the U.S. So, yan, okay na. Tapos, ang kasunod, status change affidavit. Are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payments profile that has previously received payments? So, ang ikiklik ko dito since hindi um, pa ako nakareceive ng payment kasi ka, ki, ano ko lang, kaano ko lang din ng aking appin. So, i-check ko itong click ko itong I am providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments. And, i-click lang yung submit. So, ito na guys. After maklik natin yung 
submit ito na makikita nyo na na successful yung ano tapos makaka-receive din kayo ng email so check ko yung email so ito na guys your tax information has been approved yan ganun lang kasimple guys uh, thank you for watching Kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye!